The Shore Park Crusaders wrap up a four-game homestand with a 7-2 victory over the Grand Prairie Storm Sunday afternoon on this January 22nd, 2017. Taylor Medic and Adam Kamara with you here for the post-game wrap. And Adam, a great first period for this Crusader team, a real good start, making amends for the disappointing effort and loss Wednesday to the Bonneville Pontiacs. They got a 3-0 lead in the first and really did not look back from that and winning this game 7-2. Grand Prairie made things a little interesting in the second, but really this Crusaders pull away and almost play a complete game. Definitely a much better effort, like I said, from Wednesday. Yeah, it definitely is a much better effort that they got this afternoon. Uh, it was all powered by the second line of the Sherpa Park Crusaders, Ty Reedman, Jesse Zaharchuk, and Matthew Dykstra. All three of them getting goals in that first period, which kind of led to the onslaught by the Crusaders. Uh, Grand Prairie, they didn't give up. Uh, they're a resilient team. This is a team that maybe their, their uh, standings in the Viterra North isn't exactly indicative of how they play. They don't give up. I mean, it's a team that came into to this afternoon with a lot of players out. Their head coach was out, um, but they still kept fighting until the end. But the Crusaders just were too much. They were overpowering the Grand Prairie Storm, and it resulted in that 7-2 to two win this afternoon, Taylor. You mentioned the line of Ty Reedman, Jesse Zaharichuk, as well as Matt Dykstra. Ty Reedman extending his point streak to six games, 11 points in that span. He's been fantastic. Jesse Zaharichuk, a fantastic game as well. Probably his best game as a Crusader. So it's uh, really good to see the team flourishing right now. Tyler Maltby with two goals, extending his goal-scoring lead in the Alberta Junior Hockey League, now to 32. And this Crusader team picking up points when they had to. What are you expecting in the weekend coming up? Heading up to Fort McMurray, yeah. two games there, a big test against the mob. Oh, it's going to be a very, very big test for the Crusaders with the Fort McMurray Oil Barons up in Fort McMurray. We no longer get to see the Oil Barons here at the Shore Park Arena, so it's going to be a little bit different look for the Crusaders. Uh, but it's two big games back-to-back -back up in Fort McMurray. Uh, I'm sure head coach Adam Manna, it's going to be a lot of... Uh, emotions for him going in as a head coach his first time as a head coach going back to his old stomping grounds where he was able to win an AJHL championship so it, it, I'm sure he's gonna try and get his boys fired up for that game but it's not about him it's about his team how they're gonna do how they're gonna perform uh, they can't have a slip up like they did against the Bonneville Pontiacs on Wednesday they need to have more games like they did this afternoon against the Grand Prairie Storm Zach Klassen making 34 saves in the victory. Jacob Thomas, defenseman, extending his point streak to four games, four assists in that span. Tanner Younghans with a great game as well, picking up a few points also. So Crusaders on the road next weekend, taking on Fort McMurray as they picked up their 53rd points of the season, 52-53 to be specific. And they head into Fort McMurray, sitting in fifth spot in the Viterra North Division. Try to climb close to Spruce Grove and Bonneville for that final playoff spot but might be a bit of a challenge going forward. Adam thanks a lot enjoy the rest of your week. You as well Taylor thank you